Do some arm circles. I usually start forward, but I mean, you can do forward or backwards. Okay. And if you're doing this stuff on your own, eight to 10 reps on everything is usually good. Other direction. So I feel your shoulders loosening out. Just gonna go like up and down. Try and keep our core tight. Usually speed up a little bit, make it more dynamic. And then we're gonna cross over our arms and do a hug on our shoulder blades, and then and switch. You just do a few of those, and then you can start speeding it up without the full stop. And try to touch your fingers in back as high as possible with good posture. And now we're gonna spread out our feet a little bit, get your heels nice and flat. And you're just gonna do like a half back bend where you arch out, hold for like five seconds, relax. And each time you go, try to go a little bit farther, but make sure you're maintaining your balance. Pressing your hips forward. I usually take a deep breath right before I go and then hold it. of that. And then do some hands close twists. Just keep your feet planted. Then we'll reach down forward bend, try to touch your feet, hold it for a little bit. Ideally, your legs are pretty straight, letting your back relax a little bit. Then you're gonna reach over to one foot, so like left hand to right foot, reach up, hold it. Hold it for a few seconds, and go to the other side. Then I'll just speed up the movement, and get rid of the hold. Just twisting out your spine. Then we're gonna bend down, reach forward into an arch, hold it for a few seconds, then reach back, reach forward into an arch. Go through a few rounds of that. All right, now we're gonna take a seat on our knees, stretch out our hands and wrists. So. Hands flat, all the different positions you can. If you want more stretch, you're gonna be leaning towards your fingers in each position. And you're gonna invert your hands, push down and make some fists in all the different positions. Stretch out your thumbs. You don't have to do finger splits, split each finger apart from the other ones. Just go back through whatever you need. To. Then you're gonna pull your hands together, roll them around in some circles. Make like figure eight patterns up and down. All the different ways your wrist can go. All right, then we're gonna roll out our ankles. You're gonna go in a push up body with a slightly wide foot stance. Roll your feet around till your toenails are on the ground, and then back around till you're on your tiptoes. Just working up the mobility of your ankle in those weak positions. Make sure you sit for both directions. All right, then next is seal stretch. 
So for this one, you want to squeeze your heels super close together, press your hips down, your head back, take some deep breaths. Push your head backwards as far as you can. Now we'll do a twist and try to look over your shoulder at your feet. And you kind of stack one foot on top of the other to get a little bit more hip twist. Try to relax. Other way when you're ready. Bend our knees and try to get our toes towards our head, pushing the head back, bending the knees as much as you can. Take some deep breaths, try to relax your chest and back. Is your hips supposed to be touching? Downwards a bit, yeah. Okay. You don't have a lot of lower back flexibility, it's gonna be hard though. Alright, then we'll come out into a cat stretch. Pressing your chin down, looking at your fingers. And if you don't feel a lot of stretch, move your hands forward. And I like to go up on my fingertips to make a little bit more distance so I can push down more. And then just keep looking at your fingers. Try to get your chin by the ground. Take some deep breaths. Try to relax your lower back. to reach one arm underneath and you're just going to kind of lay on it like it's a pillow. Just lay your body weight onto your shoulder. Some deep breaths. You should push your shoulder across the front of your chest. Switch when you're ready. Make sure you're relaxing and trying to feel some stretch in your back and your shoulder. Uh, to kind of move around a little bit. And if you shift your weight forward and back, you can kind of feel different parts of your shoulders stretching out. Come on out when you're ready. Then we're just going to do a toe touch. Just try to reach as far as you can. Try to grab a hold of your feet. If you feel like your back is super slouchy like this, try to sit up super tall and pull through here for the first part. So try to do like a lean forward. And then as you reach, you're gonna round your back. You'll get a lot further. And then for that, this is important to just take deep breaths. Feel how with a deep inhale, it's gonna stretch you more. And then as you relax, try to let your muscles relax. Or as you let your air out, you want the muscles to relax. Try to ease up the tension in your back. And if you can't quite reach your feet ready, you can pull on your legs a little bit. A couple more deep breaths. On the exhale, let your head kind of hang down lower and pull that back. Alright, now we're going to do a straddle stretch. So since we got the yoga mats, you can kind of keep your feet on the mat, but sit on the ground next to it so your heels don't get pressed into the ground too hard. Just kind of go as wide as your feet can go comfortably and then try to grab hold of your ankles. You can relax your toes. And this is basically the same. You're just trying to relax, let your head pull you down. You can pull from your legs a little bit.
one arm over the top, kind of covering up your ear, and then use that direction to lean you into the one side. So you should feel stretching kind of on the side of your back. So take some deep breaths. Each deep inward breath, it should hurt a little bit more, but then as you exhale, it should almost feel like you can go lower than you were before. It's not to force it, but just to kind of let your breath relax you until you can go lower without much effort. Now when you're ready, go ahead back up in the middle, other arm over by your head, ease into the other side. And just think about the breathing again. Breathe in, it should hurt a little bit more. Exhale, your body should release. If you need to, just hold the deep breath for a couple of seconds. Feel that stretch. Now when you're ready, come on back out to center. And then we're just gonna take our fingers and spider them forward, trying to pull your spine as long as you can using your fingers first. Once you get as far as you can, every couple deep breaths, just try to spider your fingers out a little bit further as you exhale. A little bit farther. Then try to take a couple deep breaths. Try to feel your shoulders and your back stretching along with your legs. All right, next we're gonna do a butterfly stretch. We're just gonna put your bottoms of your feet together, your lean forward. If you like, you lean forward pretty far. Also try to press your knees downwards towards the ground to open up your hips. Alright, now we can come out into a deep squat. So the goal of this is to get your toes turned out, your knees pointing out, and I use my elbows to force my knees outward. So it's almost like you're kind of still doing like a splits, but your knees are bent. Just forcing your knees out, feel the hip flexibility. And then we're gonna straighten out one leg. And you're gonna try to balance your weight over your feet, and then you can use your hands to help you transition to the other side. And just hold it for a couple seconds, and transfer over. And we're gonna get this leg nice and straight and feeling the hips open. Then you can also sit up really straight with your back and stretch out your spine too. time and then just transition this into like a split so now you're just gonna try to get both legs straight and once you're as far as you can get just go down on your elbows and try to keep your weight kind of over your elbows and your hips and just relax with the legs as straight as you can get them if you need to go up higher to get them straight Ease your feet closer together. Five more seconds, take some deep breaths. You can just 
ease your hands in to sit back down into a straddle. Alright, now we're just going to do some front leg splits. So you can start in knee lunge. And just back up your back leg as much as you can until you start to feel straight by your back hip. You're start to ease the front leg straight on your heel. I know what I like to do is walk my hands forward and try to get my fingers by my heel to really focus on stretching the front leg. Hold that for a little bit and then I'll walk my hands back and I'll try to Sit up with just one or zero hands on the ground, try to arch my back and isolate that back leg stretch. And then stretch your chest if you can look up. You're going to have your hands in back, flatten out your hips like this, and then we're just going to do a half bridge. So we're going to take one arm up, reach it back as far as you can and look at your hand and push your hips upwards. Try to feel your shoulder and your back stretching out. Hold it for five or six seconds or a few breaths and then switch sides. We'll do a couple times on each arm. Really just focus on breathing deep, feeling what muscles you can feel stretched during this. Your feet can be a little bit wide if you need more balance. And the goal is to be reaching back so far that you can basically touch the ground while still having your arm in the, one arm in the table position. One or two more on each arm, and then we'll start doing some regular bridges. flat on the ground, like mat distance apart. Press your hips up off the ground, try to look back at your hands and push yourself up into a bridge. And then just trying to push your hips as high as you can, get your feet in a little bit closer to you if needed. I usually hold it for like five to 10 deep breaths. Then I go back down and just roll out my back again. You're gonna wanna do three to four reps. As you're pushing up in the bridge, try to think about your armpits going towards the wall that you're looking at. 
You can even bend your legs and then straighten your legs to shift your weight. Going from like an intense shoulder stretch to a little bit more relaxed. Focus on your breathing. Especially in back arch stretches, when you breathe super deep, you can feel it expanding your chest out. Usually it's by the third or fourth bridge they start to feel easier. They get an easier pass. <laughs> sure. So go ahead and do one more and I'm gonna help you. That looks better than the one we were doing yesterday or the day before or whatever. Yeah, I think so. And that's pretty much the final. I mean, I'll sometimes I'll go back and do some of the other stretches, but that'll basically get you good to go. Helps to do yoga right before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Tots is pretty funny sometimes. <laughs>